So with the teaser trailer of Resident Evil Death Island, we were shown that Jill Valentine seems to be once again back in action. And with this information, it has me wondering, where was Jill Valentine in the events of Resident Evil 7 and 8? Why is she not with Chris and his Houndwolf squad? I kind of was wondering that as soon as I saw that because before this teaser trailer, we were always under the assumption that Jill was still recovering from the experimentations that Wesker had put her through, that she was still in rehab and recovering, or that maybe she had just completely retired from the BSAA and active duty altogether. But based off of this recent teaser trailer, it appears that she is back on the front lines once again. Now, I will be fair and say we don't actually know if she is indeed on the front lines again because the little bit that we see of her, it appears to be her Resident Evil 3 design. And so it could just be a flashback because she's wearing the exact same outfit, necklace, haircut, everything. So it could just be a flashback and she doesn't actually have any major role. Especially considering that the poster that was released for this movie doesn't feature Jill at all, nor does the description of the movie or anything. So Jill isn't really shown as being a primary character. However, many people have already pointed it out. I completely missed it in my breakdown of the trailer, but at the very start in the jail cell area, you can clearly see that Chris is there because it's the same shirt that we see him wearing later on in the trailer. And next to him, it appears to be Jill Valentine. So if that is actually Jill, that means that she is working with the BSAA and Chris once again. And so it has me wondering, where is she during 7 and 8? My first thought is that maybe she and Chris have a disagreement on how to handle things going forward. And so the two of them go their separate ways and they handle things differently. Chris has a bit more of a darker tone to him come Resident Evil 8. And so that's how he starts to handle things. It's a bit more straightforward, like he's just tired of having to deal with this year after year. And Jill probably doesn't agree with that approach. And so she goes off and does her own thing. Maybe Resident Evil 9, they'll resolve their differences, come together and figure out where the corruption is coming from within the BSAA. So that's something that could potentially be going on. And I think it'd be really cool to see. And maybe in Death Island, we see them kind of drift apart in that movie. My only issue with something like that, though, is that not everybody is going to go see Death Island. Whereas when Resident Evil 9 comes out, a lot more people are going to play that. And so it would bring forth a whole lot of confusion to people who didn't see Death Island if Jill just all of a sudden shows up and we see that she and Chris are at a disagreement on certain things and there's no real reason as to like why that is if you didn't see Death Island. Like you'd be majorly confused. So I don't really feel like that's the approach that they would take it. I think they would want to keep it in line to where those who don't watch Death Island aren't missing out on information come Resident Evil 9. Something else that I was thinking though is that it is possible that the BSAA has two different squads, similar to how Stars back in the day had a Bravo team and an Alpha team. BSAA could have a same or a similar function where Chris and his Houndwolf squad are sort of like the Alpha team of the BSAA, and Jill has her own squad that would be like the Bravo team. So she has her own elite group that she is leading. So the reason that she was not with Chris during seven and eight is because she was busy doing things with her own squad at that time. So I think that's something that could definitely be happening. And that would open the doors for like a Revelations 3 where we follow Jill and her squad and what they're doing during the events of seven and eight. Something like that would be really cool to see. And then maybe come Resident Evil 9, Chris and Jill's two squads can come together and they can both try and figure out what is going on with the BSAA, why it is they're dealing with bioweapons, and who it is that's behind it. So I think something like that could definitely end up happening and it would be a very interesting plotline to go with. So those are two things that I'm thinking as to why Jill isn't around during 7 and 8. Either... Chris and Jill have a fall off and they sort of separate or she's leading her own squad. Now there is another thing to consider and it's that Jill isn't always on the same missions as Chris is. Like there's been times throughout history that Chris is on a 
completely different mission from Jill, such as Resident Evil 6. He was with Pierce and a group of other individuals. Jill was nowhere to be seen. Now you could say that she was in rehab at that point in time still, and so she was still recovering, and so that's why she is not in Resident Evil 6 alongside Chris there. But even in Revelations, she's with Parker and Chris is with Jessica for the majority of the game. And so you could argue that right there. So there's examples of Jill not always being alongside Chris. So that's also a factor to think about as well that maybe she just isn't on this mission with Chris at that point in time and she's doing something else with the BSAA. And so that's a possibility. Those are what I'm thinking is what's going on. I highly doubt it's anything major like Jill gets killed in Death Island and that's why she's not around. Like I don't think Jill's going to get killed in this movie. That would be extremely major to kill off a character that you are finally bringing back to the surface past the events of Resident Evil 5 and you kill her the very first time we get to see her beyond those moments. I don't think they would do that, especially in a movie. Like It's one thing to do it in a game, but to do it in a movie, I just don't think that's going to even be an option. So that's really my thoughts on where Jill is during the events of 7 and 8. But let me know what you think. Why do you think that Jill isn't with Chris and the Houndwolf Squad? And I will go ahead and end this video here and see you all on the next one. See you then.